Taylor Swift just sent Swifties into a complete frenzy by dropping a Vault Songs tease for her re-recorded album Red, and this time she took things to a whole new level with her Easter eggs. Let's get into it. Fans know that Taylor Swift is the queen of hidden clues, Easter eggs and hints, and she loves to send us Swifties on a decoding hunt. Well, she might have just outdone herself because her latest post has Swifties completely frantic. On Thursday, August 5th, Taylor took to social media to share this post. And before we get into the post, we just want to note that the date is 8-5, which is 8 plus 5 equals 13, Taylor's lucky number. It's also August, and we know Taylor has a song called August, so we really should have seen this coming. Anyway, back to the post. Taylor shared this video of scrambled up words and wrote, Presses post cackles maniacally, level casually cruel in the name of being honest. As fans recall, Taylor did this for her last re-recorded album, Fearless, Taylor's version. But while Fearless was just unscrambling words, Taylor really did take the Red Vault songs to level casually cruel. As soon as Taylor posted, fans quickly started writing things like, not this again, and there's no way I'm figuring this out. Personally, my head felt like it was exploding watching the clip, but some hopped on the challenge and turn their detective mode on. People quickly realized that this wasn't just your average word unscramble, it was a full-blown word search. And not just any word search, in typical Taylor fashion, it was a 13 by 13 word search. Ms. Swift, I think it's safe to say you've officially outdone yourself. But in just minutes, fans started to find words in this scrambled up word search like Phoebe Bridges, Ronan, Better Man, 10 minute version all too well, forever message. One standout from this initial list is Ronan. Fans remember that Ronan is the song based on the blog by Maya Thompson about her four-year-old boy Ronan who died from neuroblastoma in 2011. Taylor wrote and produced the song by putting together quotes from the blog and credited Maya as the co-writer. All proceeds from sales of the song went to helping fight cancer and we love that Taylor is bringing this song out of the vault and including it on this album. We know how special it is to both her and her fans. Okay, now now back to the word search. People started to hop in each other's word searches and find words in different directions like babe, about, bottle, message, nothing and more. Slowly people started to put the entire lists together of all the words they found which included some featured artists like Sheeran aka Ed Sheeran, Stapleton aka Chris Stapleton and Phoebe Bridges. I'm sorry but if this meme isn't all of us right now I don't know what is. Honestly I'm already on my second cup of coffee trying to give my brain the kick it needs to figure all of this out. Anyway while some people were deep in the word search other Swifties were trying to figure out when we'd be hearing any of her vault songs or re-recorded songs off Red. This person thinks it could be as early as next week on Friday, August 13th, which was the release date for the Red song We Are Never Getting Back Together nine years ago. Taylor hasn't confirmed or denied any of these speculations yet, but we know she's just sitting back and enjoying watching all of this unfold. As this fan so hilariously put it with this meme, you really love watching us freak out, huh? Honestly, I wish I could be a fly on the wall watching Taylor cackle at this hysteria she's created like we know she is. We'll keep you guys posted if we hear from Taylor, but this just got us all so excited for Red Taylor's version. November can't come soon enough, but who knows? It seems like we might be getting some singles before then. Fingers crossed. <gasps> there is so much going on, you guys, and for even more Taylor Swift, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know what you think of Taylor's vault word search and any clues you've decoded in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on socials at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.